Now there's another way to scale or transform an object that's a little bit different and that's called the shear command. I'm going to start with a circle, select it, and then create a quick pipe for you from my solids menu. Left click. So I've created a pipe which is also now a torus, a simple uh, solid that is a circular donut shape. Transform, the shear command is found here. Now shear is also called skew in some different types of software. Skew sort of describes pretty closely what it's going to do. Now here I'm going to select my curve. When this little selection menu comes up after you have chosen what you want, you simply right click to select. Now I'm going to press delete so that we have just our little donut shape here. And that's all we need to worry about. Transform, shear. Origin point, like most tools, I pick an origin point here. Reference point. Mm, I'll go straight up to about here. Now from my reference point, I choose the shear angle. And now you see why skew is a good word to describe this. Technically what I'm doing is scaling my object in an oblique fashion. The farther I go, the more stretched and odd looking my shape becomes. Shaded preview. So we've created almost a, a hair clip type shape here. Let's undo that. Again, transform and shear, origin point. Reference point can be anywhere. It can be something that you sort of experiment with and then shear angle. I can actually go all the way around here in a circle. When I get closer to the radius of my reference point, the shape returns to its normal size. And so there we have it.